Hello, my name is Monica Barrett. I'm a research fellow at the National Drug Research Institute in Australia. Today I'd like to speak with you about our cannabis cultivation study. Cannabis cultivation features regularly in mainstream media. Stories about cannabis growing often focus on the alleged links between domestic cultivation, the apparent increased purity or potency of cannabis, and the supposed links to health problems like schizophrenia. These stories will often focus on the links between cannabis growing and organised crime, but most of the time cannabis cultivators are portrayed as drug dealers and criminals to be confronted and to be punished by society. But just how accurate are these stereotypes? The small amount of research that has been conducted with cannabis growers suggests that while some cannabis cultivation might be linked to organised crime, this is not the case for the vast majority. Indeed, many growers explicitly seek to avoid real dealers and cultivate precisely so they and their friends can avoid contact with the criminal-run drug markets. Others are motivated by ideological or altruistic concerns. For example, some people grow cannabis for others so they can smoke it for its medicinal properties. We believe the policymakers and the mainstream media and the public need a better understanding of who actually grows cannabis, of how they do it and of why they do it. And this is why um, we are conducting an international online survey of cannabis growers. We hope that you will assist us by participating in our survey and sharing this video with your friends. All survey responses are strictly anonymous. We do not ask any personal data or contact details and we absolutely do not record IP addresses. We invite you to go to our website at worldwidewe.nl for more information and to complete the survey. And we really look forward to sharing our results with you and breaking some of the long-held stereotypes of cannabis growers in the community. Thanks.